Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? <sighs> I hope you are well. I'm tired today. It's Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> <clears throat> Gotta look on the calendar. It's Tuesday. Um, I was chatting with Carl the other day about um, about what it is to follow the way of Jesus. We were just discussing it. And um, we have some friends that are very, <clears throat> um, I, we've got such a spectrum of friends and, and he and I don't even land on the same end of the spectrum or spot on the spectrum, but we can agree on Jesus. And one of the things that drives um, my atheist friends nuts is when Christians talk a lot and don't do much, right? And so they're digging into theology. They're trying to get answers. They're watching um, YouTube sermons. They are listening to sermons all the time. And that's good. This is good but it doesn't translate to hands and feet. Now to many of our friends, they're just over, they're covered in the best of ways, like a blanket with, um, with theological teaching. And it translates to their lives, it translates to their mission, it translates to the hands and feet. <clears throat> but as I was reading the, uh, my book this morning, it was just like, this is what I'm trying to say. And it's that we are not remembered for what we think. We are not remembered for what we come up with in our brain. We're remembered for what we do. And I thought, yeah, that's it. That's it. I can sit here and I can pull in teaching. But what happens when I sit at a table and I pull stuff in? I get fat. And I think there's a lot of fat religious people out there. And yet, Jesus walked constantly. He moved his life through towns and villages touching people, impacting people along the way, changing the world. Talking theology, look at the Emmaus Road. He didn't shy away from, you have heard it said. He didn't shy away from talking about scripture. But he didn't just do that. He got his hands dirty. He touched the blind. He touched the people with skin conditions that would ultimately caused their death and were so contagious that they had to move out of town. He touched what other people would have put in the garbage. He touched the, the sex workers. He touched the orphans. He touched the kids who had a tiny little lunch. And he said, I will take what you have to offer the kingdom and I will multiply it just by the touch and impact of his life. And it was like, yes, I don't want to be a fat religious Christian. I'm going to be chubby the rest of my life, but that's not what I'm talking about. I want to be the one that shows up. I want to be the one that people know they can count on. I want to be the one that doesn't have to be right all the time but I need to be living Jesus' love all the time. If I'm going to make mistakes, I want them to be mistakes of loving too much. That's what I want. I don't want to be a jerk face. I want to be remembered for what I do, not for the high and mighty things I say and the arguments I win. When someone leaves my presence and they think back, remember that lady, I forget her name, but she was amazing. She gave me a hug 
and she, she just loved me. She does, they don't need to remember my name. They need to remember how I made them feel and I want them to have felt valuable and felt beautiful and known that I saw them. That's what I want. I don't know what you want this Tuesday. Do you want to win the argument? Do you want to post that post to make a point? Do you want to raise money for something? Do you want to start writing a book? No one will be remembered for what they wanted to do. They'll be remembered for what they did. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. It's pretty heavy. I better get going and doing. I will also be remembered for taking rest breaks and naps. Yep, that's okay too. <laughs> anyway, spend some time dreaming today. Enjoy your hot baby. And we'll see you tomorrow. Know that I love you. Bye.